Look at all this fruit. I really want to eat some. Spiky, you just had lunch. Yes, but I feel like I haven't eaten anything. I don't know where all the food I eat goes. The food we eat is digested. Digested? What does that mean? Food is digested through the process of digestion. The process of breaking down complex food material into smaller substances is called digestion. Come, let's take a closer look at the human digestive system. The digestion of food in humans takes place in the alimentary canal which includes the mouth, food pipe or esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. The digestive glands, namely salivary glands, gastric glands, liver and pancreas also help in digestion. The alimentary canal and the digestive glands make up the digestive system altogether. Look at that boy. He is about to eat an apple. Let's follow the apple's journey through his body. The digestion of food begins in the mouth. The teeth cut and chew the food, breaking it into smaller pieces. The tongue mixes the food particles with saliva produced by the salivary glands. The saliva softens the food and contains an enzyme that begins the digestion of starch. The tongue pushes the resulting small balls of food into the food pipe. The food pipe, also called esophagus, is a long tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. The swallowed food travels down the esophagus into the stomach. The esophagus is made up of muscles that contract and relax, producing wave-like movements called peristalsis. This helps to push the food down. The stomach is a mango-shaped, sac-like organ that mixes and digests food. The muscular movement of the stomach churns the food and break it down further. When food enters the stomach, the gastric glands in the inner walls of the stomach secrete gastric juice. The gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid and an enzyme called pepsin. The hydrochloric acid or HCl kills the harmful bacteria present in the food. The enzyme pepsin begins the digestion of proteins in the stomach. But HCl is a really strong acid. Doesn't it damage the walls of the stomach when it's secreted? Also, aren't muscles made up of proteins? Why doesn't the stomach digest itself? Good question, Spiky. This is because the stomach also secretes mucus. The mucus forms a layer that covers the walls of the stomach. This prevents the acid and the enzyme from damaging or digesting the stomach. Now, where was I? The stomach mixes the food with gastric juices. Yes, and so after a few hours, the food is partly digested forming what we call chyme. The chyme then goes into a highly coiled tube called the small intestine. The small intestine is a long tube around 20 feet long. It receives secretions from the liver and the pancreas that help it to further break down food. The liver secretes bile juice, while the pancreas secretes pancreatic juice. The small intestine produces intestinal juice. The bile from the liver dissolves fat into tiny droplets and the pancreatic and intestinal juices complete the remaining digestion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Where does all this digested food go? Well, it is absorbed into the small intestine. The inner surface of the small intestine has many finger-like projections called villi. These villi have a widespread network of blood vessels which carry the digested food to all the cells in the body. Meanwhile, the undigested food is passed into the large intestine. 
the large intestine is shorter and wider than the small intestine. Here, excess water and salts are absorbed. Whatever is left behind is undigested waste, also known as feces. It is temporarily stored in the rectum before being passed out of the body through the anus. So that's what happened to the food I ate, which means I can eat more now. Oh, Spikey, when will you stop eating? Let's summarize. Digestion is a process of breaking down complex food material into smaller, absorbable substances. The digestion of food begins in the mouth. After the food is chewed and softened, it is pushed into the esophagus. The food goes down the esophagus into the stomach, where gastric glands produce gastric juices, and the digestion of proteins begins. The food then enters the small intestine. The digestion of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins is completed here. The undigested waste then passes through the large intestine and is removed from the body through the anus.